to some people, the cross of Jesus Christ is a symbol of victory. We call them Christians. We look at the cross and we say, we are victorious over death. Other people look at the cross and they, they call it a, a, a failure. They look at it and they say, how can you possibly believe? It's just a sign of capital punishment. And Pope Benedict, when he was still Holy Father, he made a statement. It was very simple, but very profound, as he had a tendency to be. He said, the cross of Christ is love in its most radical form. The cross of Christ is more than just a symbol of victory. The cross of Christ is more than just a symbol of death. The cross of Christ is love in its most radical form. Now, there's a danger that we have as Catholics, as Christians, as we enter into Palm Sunday and Holy Week and the Triduum, because we've heard these stories so many times before, but after a while, the stories almost begin to lose their luster. After a while, we stop seeing ourselves in the story because we know how they go. We know how it goes you know, in the upper room with the washing of the feet, with the Eucharist. We know how it goes in the Garden of Gethsemane. We know how it goes when he's, when he's beaten and he's mocked. We know how it goes in the conversation with Pilate. After a while, we get to a place where there's a dangerous area, where we stop seeing ourselves in the story. We become almost the, the random bystander passing by Calvary. We don't see ourselves in the criminals on either side of Jesus. We don't see ourselves holding the Blessed Mother. We don't see ourselves as Pilate or as, or as the Jews calling for his head, as the Roman soldiers crucifying him. We don't see ourselves in those characters. The one character that constantly comes back to me is Barabbas, that horrible criminal, that, that, that murdering thief, Barabbas, who, 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 who didn't get what he deserved, and Jesus pays the toll for him. You know, as, as anyone who studies etymology knows, if you look elsewhere in Scripture, we know that, that the prefix bar means son of. You know, when, he, when Jesus says Simon bar Jonah, it means Simon, son of Jonah. Simon's dad's name was Jonah. When we hear the name Barabbas, Bar, son of Abba, the father, and whether this was a Holy Spirit-inspired moment, a literary device, a coincidence, or, or a literal accurate name, that Barabbas is not just a criminal. Barabbas, the son of the father, is me. It's you, Barabbas, that criminal that did not get what he deserved, are all the sons and daughters of God. We're the ones that failed. We're the ones that sinned. We're the ones that choose self. We're the ones holding the F paper when our brother Christ shows up and swaps out the A for the F. He's the one that mounts the cross. He's the one that pays the price. He's the one that looks through our unworthiness and through our sin and our degradation and our iniquity and declares great worth. My brothers and my sisters, the cross is not just about death. The cross isn't just about redemption. The cross is about love. The cross is God looking past and through our unworthiness. The cross is God sending his only son to do for us what we could not do for ourselves. The cross is the most radical sign of love that this world has ever known and will ever know. The cross is Christ's way of looking and saying, you are a very big deal. And you matter to the Father and you matter to me. The cross, the fulcrum of history, as John Paul II called it. As we look back, we look in and we look up and we look forward, and we fall on our knees once again, and we thank God for looking through our unworthiness and declaring his love and declaring our great worth. And we say thank you to Christ for what he did for us and continues to do for us and in us through the Spirit. How blessed we are to be Christian. How blessed we are to be Catholic.